Hey buddies, welcome back to Video Games Awesome Live. We're checking out the Mario Kart DLC, a substantial update from Nintendo for Mario Kart. This could be the Mario Kart to end all Mario Karts. What? Probably not, but I mean, this is, yeah, this is remarkable. The first ever Mario Kart in which DLC can happen means that the shelf life of Mario Kart is gonna be like fresher than ever because Imagine in two years' time that we're looking forward to new tracks. Yeah. You know, like that's that gonna be, be really, really cool. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Hey guys. I'm gonna go as Tanuki Mario. And I guess uh, Becky will be racing as Cat Peach. Cool. Go, if you keep going down. Did you have something to ask them? I'll, I'll ask them after. I think that. that is one. this his? Yeah. I don't want this. I want the bike. I'm gonna race on this. I think this is the new bike, Tanuki bike. And then I think that, what are the wheels meant for it? Wow, I hate the way this controls, all right. Yeah. Which ones? Let's see the stats. I like speed and handling. I don't care about traction. Acceleration's nice, but uh, maybe I'll just go with the I have to make sure I continue talking because, you know, Nintendo have flags the menu music, so that's... Yeah. I'll just um, go with default. That's not his new vehicle, All right, vehicle, so which eh? one is it? Go over to the left, go down, down. Down, down. Down, down. that one. That's it? Yeah. So Link got a bike and a cart, but Mario only got a cart? That's it, right, guys? All right. I really wanted to, I was hoping he had a bike. I, I don't recognize this bike, but I guess I don't recognize many bikes because you unlocked, unlocked them. them all and I wasn't there for it. So. Yeah. All right, fine, I'll try to do That's it. not it, that's okay, an so what's Which one the is fucking it? one? Link only got a bike. Okay, that's so the that's only it. thing that's new. So it doesn't matter what I race on. All right, okay. I'm racing on this. <laughs> um, and I'll go with, because this kind of looks like a Tanuki bike. I don't know why. It's got the M with that the, sh the little stripes through it. Actually, you know what looks even more? No, yeah, I like that. That make that all looks good. Good stuff. All right, and then I'll head into. There are four new carts in the DLC. There's a Tanuki G. Guys, the exclamation Ooh. mark doesn't show up for us anymore because we've already gone through it once. A Tanuki Jeep. Okay, so is it actually called Tanuki G? It might be. There it is, Tanuki Kart. Oh, it does it. have the exclamation marks. Because we haven't used it Sorry, yet. Sorry, guys. Okay, so then keep going down all the way through the wheels and... And there should be a wheel that hasn't been used then? I guess. I don't think there's any uh, other new no, wheels. maybe not. All right, if I'm gonna commit to full off-road, I'll go with that and that. The stress level is extra high in these menus just because of the music. I fucking... Oh god, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I have not, um... Tried any off-roading, really. You experimented with it. I hate it. Yeah. I, like, I tried it once. I didn't once. think it was worth it at all. Yeah, and you did experiments with it, and you found yeah. that, like, the, the amount of speed and whatever you have to give up for it is not worth it unless you're racing on a very specific track mm -hmm. but it's not like you can swap out your vehicle track by track a la carte when you're online you can you commit to a cart yeah. and then you log off if you want to switch carts which is a huge pain in the ass and silly it doesn't make sense all right yeah off-roading is not worth it that's too bad that they did that ah it's too bad that they balanced the bike by nerfing it but then they did they added a new type of vehicle off-roading and they don't give a shit. Yeah. Like they didn't do anything to make it worthwhile. Well, at least against the computer, I might stand a chance with off-roading. Oh my God, it's so slippery. It's How do you it? even do this again? How do you race with a card if it's, <laughs> if it's this slippery? I don't know. I have to slow down so much on corners. I don't even know that, like I should be able to see. Yeah, dude. Off-road should just, like, not yeah. even be affected by going off-road. That should be its benefit. You should be able to drive around like a son of a bitch. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. That could have been such a cool element. Uh-huh. And there's, like, little shortcuts, like the one you just took, that could be super fun with this, going through there. But now you need a mushroom and 
Well, that's basically it. You don't Lane. need an off road car. Mm. All right. I feel like I'm learning Mario Kart again because of this vehicle. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you know the track. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so I forgot. Like, this is a remake of um, Luigi Circuit 2? Yoshi Circuit. Oh, it's Yoshi Circuit? It, from GameCube? It's the, it, yeah, it feels like it's the GameCube one. I guess. It could be the Wii one for all I know, but they're saying GameCube? Yeah. All right. All the carts have just blurred Oh, it's into from one. Double Dash. Is it? From GameCube. Okay, yeah. I have a tough time deciding what my favorite Mario Kart is between Double Dash and Wii. Yeah. I think... Like, I really like the concept of Double Dash and having a person on your back, but I think the Wii, in terms of... Like, when you look at it graphically, and I think I like the tracks most, and it added bikes, which I just fucking love. Yeah. It changed the way I looked at Mario Kart completely. Uh, Double Dash came out at a cool time for you, though, because you could play with your little brother. Yeah, that was really interesting. And he was at an age, like, very many years my junior that, you know, that he couldn't really compete, so he had fun riding on the back. So yeah. it was perfect for an older sibling and a very younger brother. This one's your favorite? Oh, well, yeah, if you're including this one, this is clearly the best Mario Kart of all time. Yeah. You can't beat these graphics, the fucking HD and... Yeah, it's just the pretty gorgeous. sheer scope. Oh, fuck, it's... This has the more tracks. The music, too? Yeah. Like, the instrumental... Because even excluding DLC... Oh, sweet! Yes. Even excluding the DLC, um, it has more tracks than any other Mario Kart. Look yeah. at those crowds! They look as good as NHL 15. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. That looks as good as the wow, NHL games. that's ridiculous. <laughs> that just says, shows you how shitty the NHL is, all the <laughs> EA games are coming along. All right. Yes. Yeah, baby. Oh my God, his tail. When he, did you see it? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> oh, Tanuki. Little, 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 little. Is that oil? So this is officially the new baby track, baby uh, ring. Is it? <laughs> Why not? Like it's the most baby ring like. I guess. It's Yeah, not, yeah, it is. I know what you're talking about now. Not even close actually though because it's much bigger, but yeah. finally an oval track that we can all get behind. I didn't mind the baby <laughs> It was terrible. One. It was so dumb. It was just, it was just chaos. pure chaos. Yeah. It wasn't racing. It was Rubbin. Only. <laughs> exclusively Rubbin. Cool. At least this cart does okay on it. Yeah, it seems like it is. Have you gone through any of those oil? Oh, when? Shit. I did too early, didn't I? No, you did it. Oh, good. Have you gone through the oil or the mud or whatever? No. And I'm trying to avoid it, but... Like, should I do it to figure out what it does? Because, oh man. No. I have to purposefully lose. Oh, it does nothing. It just slows you down. It's just a down. little slipperier. Okay. I thought it was going to, like, spin me out. I kind of thought that it might do that, too. Whoa. So many jumps in this. It's so good. You motherfuckers. <laughs> And I lose my fucking, oh my yeah, god, dude. the worst part is that you're not up to speed to even, like, drift. That's the mm. worst. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if there's Good any job. shortcuts in this. <laughs> I think you're taking them. If they were to add something to yeah, Mario buddy, Kart yeah. to make it a more, um involved experience. I would like them to actually, speaking of Excite Bike, add Excite Bike physics to it or like the the gameplay. That being angling. 
mm, your your yeah. your well, landing. They're kind of getting into that with the um, parachute. Does that have to do with how fast you go? Like how you land? Like in no, relation you can to the just, angle of the road? No. Oh. You can just direct yourself. Because I think it would be cool if you had to angle yourself down or up depending on the ground that you were landing mm. on. That's how Excite Bike works. All right, so. Oh, we forgot to use the tin. What? The what? It changes every time you play it. What? Cool. So, what's the consensus that there is like, what, um, like a set number of Excite Bike tracks, or is it actually random? There must be like a set of like yeah. ten to choose from That's that the I game think. randomly chooses. <clears throat> That's really cool. I like that they did something I've like that. I've not noticed any changes. I don't think that's true. Oh. In my experience, it just rearranges the set pieces. That isn't a true statement. Wow, you guys are all over the map with, nobody's agreeing with each other in there today. Okay. Look at this Chinese track. What is this? What is this one? I think this is brand new from what I can tell. I don't remember a don't dragon track at, at any time. I don't remember that either. This is fun. Reminds me of um, your one of your favorites, Acorn Tree One Ooh, yeah. in the Wii. That one was really fun. Similar feeling. Completely new track. I like the music too. Me too. And I love that you're on the back of a dragon and you can see the scales on this side. Mm hmm. It's kind of a short one, but uh, mm -hmm. have you seen any shortcuts? All the shortcuts will be revealed to us once we go into multiplayer and see people taking yeah, them. Yeah, totally. Oh, I see one right, right there. there. I wonder if that's takeable without a, a mushroom. All right, you buggers. Oh my God. I hate it when a boost screws you. Yeah, dude. What? Eh. Hey, do you know how to honk your horn again? You do it when you don't have an item. That's it. Ah, cool, it's him. Nintendo knows fan service. Yeah, and I'm a sucker for fan service. I kind of wish Tanuki Mario had some sort of a statue effect as well. He, he did it. He did what? what? Oh, a statue in air. Oh, I never saw it. I, I, it. You can't see anything but the track in front of you when you're I playing. I completely understand. I don't know when he did it. Like I what heard triggered? your reaction. I just thought he, you were reacting to him doing a move. It was when you jumped. But. There. That was cool. You're kidding. Oh my god. It instantly exploded. How did he do that? Whenever I leave a bomb behind, it takes like 10 seconds before it explodes. Did he hold it for longer? I don't think holding can it you do for that with longer, bombs? no. Like cook the grenade in your hand? I don't think you can do that. Wow. I'm doing terribly on this friggin' Jeep. It seems like the Tanuki pose is random. Oh yeah, you might have driven into the bomb. Hmm. I don't think so. I was like three cart lengths away. But whatever. <laughs> Ooh! Egg cup. Mute city. Mute city. This is uh, um, F-Zero. <laughs> I wanted to call it G-Zero. It's only one letter away. You almost had it. I only played um, F-Zero once. I never owned it on the Super NES. I never played it. It was a game that really... It used, I think, the same tech as Mario Kart to do the 3D effect. 
of a cart and uh, uh, tracks in front of you. Oh my god. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> It's a very interesting track. Especially after playing all those other ones with basically no speed boost. Yeah. Is this one like all? Holy shit, this is so fun. I think this is all zero gravity. I don't think that there is any normal gravity in this track. I'll keep an eye out. Ah, oh, I thought that was a track ahead of me. <laughs> Nice work. Yeah, screw you, you baby that. the Rosalina. <laughs> Creepy. Screwed that baby good. Pedo dream. Oh, motherfucker. I haven't seen you go on the ground yet. I'm pretty sure it's all... That's a really satisfying feeling, going through all those. Yeah. But it also means that it's going to be the most unsatisfying feeling in the world when I don't hit everyone. Well, don't let that ever happen, Fraser. Whoa. You get zapped on the side. Oh, did it slow you down? I don't know. I can't tell. It seemed to be a warning zap. Like, if I stick there too long, I might get worse repercussions. I can't tell, though. Huh. Yeah, screw Good you. Job. Oh my god. I saw the statue there. Cool. I don't think it will hurt you. I wrote, wrote it a lot there. Yeah. We use our items very differently. Well, I don't know what to do. I haven't played it in forever, and I don't know what the best strategy is. Donkey Kong just took a shortcut there. Yeah, I wonder where that was. He seemed to have sped off of a cliff in order to make that one. God, now I just want to go through all these on a bike, the only way to race. Yeah, dude. Good on you for taking the cart, though. Did anybody use carts in multiplayer? Oh, yeah. yeah. How? Some people like them. I don't know. Are there some carts that are tighter turning, like more responsive? I don't know. I haven't really practiced that much with it. But we we were enjoying the carts for a little bit whenever we first played this one. Hmm. I still like the bikes a lot better now. Well, that was good times. I really like the new carts. They didn't just, like, phone it in. They're not, like, mm -hmm. man, the bump mapping on that. Nice. So weird to see a Nintendo game with bump mapping. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I like that they didn't phone in the tracks. They all seem like genuinely, well, it's Nintendo. Well thought out. Mm -hmm. They're each unique. They each have their own personality. Um, they were a lot of fun. And they have a lot of, uh, like, the fact that each one has its own soundtrack and yeah, stuff is just really awesome. cool. My favorite one is the New Link one, whatever that one was called. I have a special place in my heart for Excite Bike. Yeah. I think the most beautiful one was the Chinese one. That one was really nice. I just don't really understand what it's from. I also never thought I'd see the day. Yeah. I just see. Of all of days, I never happens. thought I'd see. That's one right there that I never thought I'd well, see. Well, that and Nintendo to me, I'll be Playboy. Uh, <laughs> stock price isn't doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> We are looking at uh, new avenues to not go broke. Whoa. Meanwhile, Amiibo, what the fuck's this all? So this, apparently the content is currently in here right huh, now. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure somebody's figured out how to erase it. I'm sure there's some footage out there of somebody who's magically gotten access to these even though the Amiibos aren't available yet. Um, but these won't be available until you get one in your hands, which, which is going to be, be some time from now. Um, Did they come out with Smash, or are they coming out? Like... They come out about the same time as Smash, from what okay. I, I gather. Um, 
Anyways. All right, guys, so we'll take a break, and then when we come back, we're gonna just start playing with the turbos through our turbo tourney. Uh, stay tuned, because Video Games Awesome Live will be back after this with more Mario Kart 8 DLC first look. <laughs> See you soon.